Hi everybody, it's Mila from Mila Soap Shack. I'm just gonna set my timer oh, because my camera will probably shut off in 10 minutes. So I wanna make sure I'm not gonna miss any of my videos so I can just stop it prior to that. I'm gonna make a batch of soap in my brand new mold that I made myself. Is it the best mold in the world? No, but it's, it's cool because I made it to my dimensions. I've been making tall soaps, so I'm really excited about this one. I actually made it a while ago and I already had it ready to go lined. And what's unique about this is the ends come off so that I can just lift my mold out. The hard thing about vertical or tall molds is if they leak or get stuck in there, you're never getting them out. So this is not the best design, but I don't have a lot of tools, so I just have a miter box and a saw. Basically, I've got it lined with freezer paper. The ends are plastic wrap. I'll be chopping like a quarter inch off anyway, so that's not a big deal for testers or samples. And I'm just holding it on with Velcro. This is industrial strength stuff that glues on, and I pull these on as hard as I can. And then um, after I get the soap in there, I have the option to put these over to make sure my soap doesn't, this doesn't open up. You know, it costs just a piece of wood to make it, really. I had this Velcro laying around, so yeah, there is the price of that, but laying around and not using it, well, shoot, now I'm using it. So I'll set that aside. The soap I'm going to make today is, um, let's make sure I'm on the camera. I normally, normally don't soap in here, so it's pretty dark in my basement, so it's so a little bit of a light so I don't know if it would be better if I put on my maybe we'll go with that a little bit brighter um, I'm gonna make a purely herbal soap it's a herbal essence duplication it's kind of a fresh flowery floral green <laughs> I don't know, it's the, the one that makes you go, mmm. So, I've got my a little bit of titanium dioxide blended in there just to kind of lighten up the batch. And I like the feel of it. And I'm going to actually do an in the pot swirl. I'm going to attempt an in the pot swirl. I do believe this fragrance behaves. I hope it does. I've had so many seasons and racing and this and that, I can't take it anymore. So, I saw Holly straining hers from Missouri River Soap, and it really is a good idea, just in case there's little particles or whatnot that don't dissolve or whatever. So, um, just so I know, I'm about 30 some ounces. This is a bigger batch than I normally make. So I hope it goes well. I really like this fragrance, so I wanted to do a bigger batch. I just don't know how it's going to play out in terms of the tops. I still want to do my fluffy top. You don't want it to be too blended, I guess. So it looks emulsified. So I'll go ahead and pour some off. I don't want too much because I would rather have it more of the green color than the cream. So. I'm just going to pour some off into this cup. don't want to rub my soap all or my thing all over this. 
Okay, I've never used this. This is teal green gel tone. It's a hydrated chromium oxide. I've never used it. So we'll see how it goes. I love the color chromium ox green oxide. So I just think it's beautiful. So want a little more contrast, so I'll put a little more in. Oops. Oh, that usually means air bubbles. So. Now the question is, will it blend smoothly? Using one of my favorite recipes, so looks pretty smooth, and I think it's so that's the perfect color. Now I don't know how this behaves during gel because I do gel my soaps. So we'll just have to find out. Okay, so what I'm going to do for an in-the-pot swirl is you pour the color in four spots. You just do one swoop around with your spatula, and then you pour it in your mold in a certain way. And um, I don't know if you've heard of KB Shimmer. She has a video on it, and I believe I learned it from her, So, which is why I love YouTube videos. So, And you pour from different heights. So start because you want it to reach the bottom and to the top. So you go one, two, three. Just pour some more around in the same spots. The key is not to mix this too much. You just want it gently. Okay, so I'm going to go in with my spatula and just go around once. And that's it. Nothing else. Then I'm going to move, I'm going to clean this off so I don't get soap all over my mold. And look at, I don't know if you can see that, how it's kind of swirled in there. Oh, and I just realized I forgot my fragrance. So you know what I'm going to do? This is going to be unscented. You know why? Because I don't want to mess this up. Oh my gosh. There is my fragrance sitting over here. I will just keep it capped and um, I will do a smaller version of this. There's nothing wrong with some unscented soap. I know a lot of people who are sensitive to fragrances, so well, they do they get some soap. I'm not gonna waste this. Well let's see what's the best way. Let's go angled here and pour it in. And this is a test anyway for my mold. Fragrances are hard to come by. Um oils are a little bit easier. And that way I can kind of see how much I get. You know, it has been a gremlin sort of day. It really has. And, uh, oh, that's life, right? And I'm not the first person who's had this happen. I'm sure other people have too but you'd like to say, it doesn't happen to me, right? <laughs> okay, so let's get this. And who says unscented has to be a boring color, right? 
So I'm just gonna like. Okay, I'm gonna stop it and restart. Okay, I'm back. I'm going to just put a little color on top here. And, uh, I'm gonna do a little, um, thing with the tops. I want to have it so that. Oh, you know what? Forgetting the fragrance really upset me because I'm almost out of palm kernel and uh, this was just going to be a beautiful soap. Mm. So I kind of like the top like it is, but um, I think I'm just going to leave it. I think it's really cute with the little splatterings around it. So the way things are going... Oh, I just don't want to wreck it. Um, I still have my alcohol. I'm just going to give it a little spray and I'm going to gel it so that so that I have a nice hard soap. Now I just realized, I'm going to take off my gloves here. My mold is held together by Velcro. Is that the best thing? Nah. Um, it just seems a little loose here. That one feels pretty good, but this side doesn't. And I've got, mm, that's my phone. I just happen to have all of this stuff over it. So I'm gonna go to the bottom here, and tighten it. And I'm just pulling on the Velcro as tight as I can. And then I'm going to put my Velcro straps over the top, which I already have. Kind of pull that in. I think as it gels, it's going to want to spread the mold apart. So I might have not even used enough oils. So that's good to know. Next time I'll have to use more oils. That really should have been higher up to the top. You know, when you do the calculation, but... Uh, You never know. I didn't even make this flat, but you know what? It looks like it's pretty solid, so into the gel machine it goes. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. Um, Mila Soaps, over and out. I'll let you know how it goes. Thanks.